It's late on Saturday morning in Ishmila and we're on the Carabao Road on our way to catch the Dolmus to Tarunch. But first we came across a family bakery to get something to eat before our trip. We've stopped at Maviden, which we highly recommend to visit. Good morning. Good morning guys. That's right today, Saturday, and we left the hotel and we wander around and we are at a patisserie. Basically it's a boulangerie where locals, tourists, everybody come and buy their bread, fresh bread. It smells lovely but you have got an eatery place as well. So today once more we're going for Turkish vibe. So Teddy has picked up a, a burek. This is with meat, isn't it? Yeah. Meat and a coffee. And I went with for a little bread like this, like a pretzel with loads of sesame seeds, butter and um, honey. And then we went for a golzem. It's like a crepe filled with potato in there. Gos goslem. And um, a coffee as well. We shall eat, devour all that and that will keep us going for the morning I guess. Right, uh, we'll speak later and we'll tell you a bit more about our day. All right, bye Ted, see bye. bye. The plan was to leave Maviden and then walk up the Kaibal Road to the top where we would catch a Dolmus from the bus stop shown here that would take us directly to Tarunch. But when we did leave Maviden, we bumped into a couple from Wales who told us not to take the bus to Tarunch and instead take a water taxi from the seafront and come back on the bus because the views would be better this way. So we took their advice and walked down to the seafront using the Kennan Everin Boulevard and as we did we came across the Dolphin Park which according to Google Maps is permanently closed as of August 2024 So how much was it then Blue? 200, 400 lira. 400 lira to take the water taxi from this spot on the Ishmael Seafront to Tarunj. What does Blue think now? While we're sailing along, we came across this monstrosity in the side of the mountain and wondered what it was. It turns out to be a wellness complex that was supposed to have been ready 
this year and is still far from complete. And looking at the company website, the complex offers a new holiday concept in luxury with its facilities and accommodations. Timeshares have been bought up by potential clients to then sell on to potential buyers and as you can see it would be well worth it. However, on this Turkish trust pilot type of website there have been many complaints posted about unfinished construction, disappointed people buying timeshares, a lack of communication and a general poor level of business dealings to do with this type of property. Then to top it off, this Turkish media YouTube channel posted a video of the Mayor of Marmaris raiding the site with his own police telling the company to cease construction because they haven't permission to build anyway. Anyway, let's get back to the boat ride to Turunch. What do you think of that? That then, <laughs> Bunny. Yeah, I really know. <laughs> it's another little quaint, beautiful. That's a what? Quaint. Quaint. <laughs> beautiful then? Is it just? It's quaint, you mean? Yeah. Gorgeous. What about you? What do you think? The entrance is. It's a spectacular ride with the mountains on your right, as you saw there in the video. But here we are in Tarunch. It's another fishing village as it was and it's turned into another superb little um, tourist attraction, tourist resort. So let's go and explore. What do you think, Bun? Yeah, ice cream first. Yeah, ready for something to eat ice at least. Cream. Like all these little villages, they've been spoiled by tourism. <laughs> We're staying with people that have been coming here for 34 years. And can you imagine the ambience that this place would have had 34 years ago? 
One thing that hasn't changed and that's the scenery, it's absolutely spectacular, the water's clear as anything, I mean you can basically see everything in it, the bunnies enjoying the sea <laughs> as much as anything, but we're, we're on, the, on the hunt for a decent cheap drink, of <laughs> if it exists. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think then, that chap? Beautiful, yes, we go there. Yeah? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that's the extent of the seafront here at yeah. Tarunch. And it's kitted out with all these sort of seating and umbrellas for different bars and restaurants to have free access to the beach if you wanted to partake in a meal or drink at any establishment that has these sort of things outside. And I think we've made our choice yes. of restaurant. It's the Chip Butty Man. <laughs> Back, I uh, can't remember what the name is now, but we'll, we'll soon look find out. There. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's an amazing vista, as they say. And uh, we're going back to that place now. Where we ended up then, Bun? What is it called? It's called the Mermaid. Mermaid. What is it? Imam Balilidi. If I've said it right. And then it's got portions of chips and bulgur wheat there. And then the bunny's gone for a sea breeze. <laughs> with a side salad. What does Bunny think about that lot? <laughs> <laughs> Let's devour this and really enjoy it. <laughs> Bunny's discovering how cold the sea is. I bet it's going to be really refreshing though after that meal which was absolutely brilliant at the Mermaid restaurant. Highly recommend that place. It's actually an English-Turkish partnership. Husband and wife with their children. And the food was magnificent. She's trying to get used to the water. <laughs> She's actually wearing the swimming costume already, so... She's not sure, but that's the view you've got sitting here at the free sunbeds that you get when you've ordered food or drinks at the Mermaid. And I don't think you can get any, any better than this. Like it's not like England. It's not as clear. Huh? Uh, England isn't as clear as this. It's up to you, you've got the gear on. I mean, it'll be a shame to waste the opportunity to actually Come. dip yourself in. Come and get me then. Well, she's done it. <laughs> well, one making the most of the scene. I'm really pleased for her. Because it's not every opportunity you get to do this in this sort of setting. Clear, crystal clear waters. 
with a backdrop of mountainous scenery, boats all around. It might be shallow, but she's enjoying it. <laughs> Once your body gets used to it, I would imagine it's all right. Next time, we look back at our time in Ishmila, giving you our tips on who to book with and 
the type of holiday you might want to consider having. I'll go through the top places to eat and drink at and give you the prices you should be paying and give you our top tips on where to visit in the area as well. Until then, bye for now.